ask yourself this question. When will you be happy? If your response to that question was anything other than now, you have a problem. You may have said that you will be happy when you have this amount of money. You will be happy when you have this house. You will be happy when you have this thing or when this happens. Therefore, you believe that you will be happy in the future. Your happiness is derived in the future. And because of that, you will constantly be in a cycle of wanting more and more because that future does not exist. The happiness that you want, the happiness that you see in the future, you may get to that happiness. And when you reach that goal, you'll feel satisfied. But then after a while, that emptiness inside of you is going to return. And you are going to chase more. So a lot of people, they say, oh, I'm going to be happy when I have, you know, this amount of money. Let's say maybe it's $100,000. They get that $100,000. And, you know, they're satisfied for the moment, but then that whole returns, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to go deeper into that, but there's there's something missing. There's, there's a sense of unfulfillment. So the only way they know how to deal with it is to, you know, chase more. You know what I'm saying? So and they get the 100000 and then say okay now I want 500,000 you get to the 500,000 once again they feel satisfied for a little bit but then that hole returns and then they seek more so now they got their 500,000 and now they want a million they get to that million and then they say I want 10 million they get 10 million and then they say they want 100 million do you not see how this cycle repeats itself? How it is constant and is never ending. As long as you believe that your happiness lives in the future, you will never be happy. You will constantly be chasing more because that future that you are chasing doesn't exist. It's a reality that is made up and it only lives inside of your mind. It doesn't live in reality. You will never be able to live in the future never the only way to truly be happy is to be happy right now because if you are happy right now you will be happy in the future just as how what you're doing in the past is what you are doing right now they're all linked but essentially the only time we ever have is the infinite now that's the only that's the only way you're going to be happy if you find happiness right now but you will never find happiness as long as you are identified with your mind as long as you are trapped in your mind because your ego is what makes you cling on to these external things these third dimensional things to all your possessions and the things in your life The ego is what makes you materialistic because it only lives in the material world. That's all your mind knows. So anytime it feels pain, the only thing it knows how to do is to find something external to cling on to, to mask the pain. But it never truly gets the job done. In order to truly be happy, you need to go within yourself. You need to find value within yourself, not the things that you have. A good example for this is someone like DDG. Someone who has millions of subscribers on YouTube. A mansion in LA. A successful rap career. He gets the same amount of views, if not even more, more consistently than a lot of these actual rappers. But he made a video speaking about how This is his last video on YouTube because he wants to be considered a rapper. How can, you know, you if if money is the answer to everything, how can he have so much and still feel like he needs more? 
How can you live on a house in the hills in LA and still feel like he wants more? It's because he is addicted and a slave to his ego. He cannot stop his thoughts. He's addicted to the false sense of self that his mind has created. And the ego always feels like it is being attacked. So when he sees the lifestyle these other rappers live in L.A., when he sees how lavish their life is and how they're treated, and he sees what they have in comparison to what he has, he, his ego feels insignificant. So his ego says, okay, I need more. I need more to be happy. It's crazy. He has all of these things and he still believes, okay, I'm going to be happy once I am a mainstream artist and I'm recognized as an actual artist, as an actual rapper. That's that's his whole thing right now. You know, that's that's where his happiness is, is coming from. But his happiness, once again, is in the future. And as long as his happiness is in the future, he will never be satisfied. He will constantly be wanting more. He needs to find happiness right now. Because right now he is trying to find happiness based on how other people perceive him. He wants to be seen as a rapper and he, people don't see him as an actual rapper. They see him as a YouTuber and that hurts his ego because that's not how his ego wants to be perceived. So he seeks validation in other people's approval. He seeks validation in all these other external things and the things that he has. I, I know I've been saying DDG has a problem and I noticed that he had a problem all the way back when he made a video with Smooth Geo. It was who looks better. And I remember he went up to this one girl and, you know, DDG said, you know, we're just filming a little video real quick. You know, I, I think I look better than him. So we're just going around Miami and we're, we're asking people, you know, who looks better. And the girl says, I think Gio looks more attractive than DDG. Well, he, she just said, I think Gio looks more attractive. You know, DDG flinches and he makes a face. You know, he makes that face. He always makes so shit face where he like puckers his, you know, his lips up and he, you know. The old shit face And his response to it Even though it was a joke I still see the truth behind it Because I see the things he says Not only in his music But just in his YouTube videos And just the way he talks He did it as a joke But his response to her Saying that Gio looks better than him Was to turn his satchel His Balenciaga satchel Towards her So she could see that it says Balenciaga And to take off his shoes So she could see that they were off white as if those things that he had on him were supposed to make him more valuable. Once again, he is trapped in his mind. He is a slave to his ego. His ego runs him. And the ego only lives in the third dimension and always clings to these external things for validation, salvation, and happiness. But it never truly finds happiness because it's only masking it. It's only masking the problem. It's masking the pain. DDG hasn't gone within himself. He hasn't found value within himself. So instead, he finds value in all these external things and the things that he has. It doesn't matter what kind of clothes you have on, DDG. You really thought that you showing her what clothes you had on, the, the brands you have on, how much money you spent on your clothes was supposed to make you feel more valuable. If money was true salvation and everybody in L.A. should be so happy right now. But yet everybody there takes drugs, is always popping pills and is depressed and suicidal. How can that be? It's because they are trapped and slaves to their ego. They haven't found true salvation. It's sad. You have to go within to find happiness bro you are not your mind i want you to do something close your eyes close your eyes and i want you to use that voice in your head and i want you to say i wonder what my next thought is going to be If you are one of the chosen ones, your mind should have ceased all thought and you should have been waiting for a thought to pop in your head, but yet nothing did. 
How is it possible that you are able to watch your thoughts? There were no thoughts in there at the time. But you can do that even when thoughts are in there. How is it possible for us to watch our thoughts unless there is a higher level of consciousness inside? Inside of our minds. There is. That's who you truly are. That's how you reach a sense of being. You find your true nature beyond name and form. When you meditate, when you stop all thoughts, you reach a higher level of consciousness. Have you not have you not seen how all of these other YouTubers, people like Solo Manati, Spiritual Soul, uh, NLE Chapa, you know, all these people say, oh, you know, just answers just come to me when I'm, I'm meditating. As if they have tapped into some infinite source of intelligence out in the world through just sitting and closing their eyes. How is that possible? It's because when you close your eyes and you stop all thoughts, you are becoming connected to God. That was Jesus' whole thing. It's such a shame that everybody worships Jesus. He did not want anyone to worship him. Jesus was literally trying to preach to everyone that they can all do the same things that he is doing. They just have to find God and God is within all of us. Within our kingdom. That's how you find true value for yourself. That's how you find true happiness. When you meditate, you clear all your thoughts and the only time you live in is the present. Your mind takes you out of the present. Your mind is constantly worried about the past or the future. Just like those kids that zone out in class. They're in the classroom, but they're not. They're not present. They're not present. Probably worried about something that happened earlier. Or maybe they're worried about something that's going to happen. Maybe they're fearful of a test they're about to take. But those, none of those things actually matter in the present moment. The only thing that really matters is the present moment. The only time that ever matters is the now. But a lot of you chase the future. And as long as you chase the future, you will never be happy. The Buddha said that desire... The end of desire is the end of all suffering. The easiest way to explain that is a baby. The baby cries because it wants its bottle of milk. Once it gets its bottle of milk and it is satisfied, it then stops crying and it is at peace because it no longer wants anything. You can't suffer if you don't want anything. And I'm not telling everyone to be like a monk and give up everything, but that's just what being at peace is like. telling you to give up your goals just make sure your happiness does not come from those goals your sense of happiness does not come from anything other than yourself it has to come from within as long as it comes from external things you will never be happy and you will always be chasing more external things it will be like all these people in LA all these people that come, that drive up to a house in the hills every single day after work they, they, they drive their new G-Wagon you know what I'm saying they have diamond chains and every every single brand designer clothes you can think of and yet every single day they come home they they feel this heart this they feel this black hole in their heart they don't know what where what is where it's from so you know they feel this hole and then they go on another shopping spree they buy another car they buy another house they buy some more diamonds thinking that's gonna help the issue it does not help the issue you are only masking the pain bro Value does not come from the things that you have. Value comes from within. Perfect time.